he who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. Most gracious and all God's Father, we thank you. Again, we read your kindness, your tenderness, and all of your God before when you us blessings. You have stored up time with your people. He what you are yet to be. Yes. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hear everything, God, I need you to be with me. Speak to me, speak through me. Sin and give fresh manna from all kind. Help me empty myself of myself, that you may come in the grave in the life of your servant. Speak. Speak, Lord. Speak, God. Speak, God. For thy servant will hear. Oh, that hearts and the ears of the hearers of your word will fall on good and fertile ground and produce fruit in days to come. Keep the humble, obedient, submissive, and sensitive to your spirit and your spirit alone. In the name of Jesus, let the words of my mouth and the kiss of my heart, my words and my thoughts, yeah. oh God, be your thoughts, your yeah. words. Oh Lord, yeah. my strength and my renewal. Yeah. These blessings we ask in Jesus, also my name, we pray and we yes. thank you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Verse 8. And the angel of the church of Smyrna, these things said the first and the last who was dead. And came to life. I know your works, tribulation, poverty, but you are rich. And I know your blessing of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear any of those things which are about, about what you are about to uh, suffer in me. The devil is about to throw some of you into prison mm -hmm. that you may be tested and you will have tribulation ten days yes. and faithful unto death. And I will give you uh, the power of life. Yes. He who has acted that in here with the Spirit says to the churches, he who comes shall not be hurt in the second day. I want to talk from the church of the persecuted church. The persecuted church. The last two Sundays we talked about, I know he works. And let me do that for me. Well, we can do the verse thing now. I'll be with that in the end. Here in verse number eight, he says, and to the angel, the messenger of the church, of Smyrna right. Listen to this. These things, says he, the first and the last. Yes. Well, I go to 22. I go to other verses prior to her, uh, chapter 2, or even after. I am Alpha yes. and Omega, yes. the beginning and the end. Yes. But look at verse 8, he says, these things said the first and the last. This is what he's saying. This is what Jesus is saying. Because yes. he's the first and the last. Mm -hmm. And we heard this morning he's in the middle too. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. He's in the middle as well as the beginning and the end. He's yeah. in the middle yeah. as well. And so he was the first, the last, and the first. He's speaking. Life to give you life. Yes, it is. 
Yes, it is. Well, it's different. I think that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Yes, it's yes. the word. It's the word. If I'm life, I'm going to give you life. Yes. I can't give you life right now if I don't live. But since I live, I'm going to give you life. Yes. The song that Brother Hill comes to my mind right now, but he's just saying, because he lives, yes. I can face tomorrow. Yes. Because he lives. I can face the problem. Yes. Yes. Watch this, my brothers and sisters. This word, uh, you want to do, do another thing, you want to, you want to say today, I'm going to flip back and forth. Uh, so I put in the word idea, I'm different today. You're going to stay with me, go to the, uh, the topic part. Uh, but the question I want to ask, what does this word Smyrna, Smyrna mean? The, the, the church, the second church, what does the word Smyrna mean? All right. It means bitterness. Not only does it mean bitterness, but it also means merit. Because they go to Matthew, when Jesus was born, the spice of one of them was merit. Yes, yes. A sweet smell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the next question that you can see in projected here is what happened to Smyrna? We have to remember I asked him. I'm very suffering. Before I give you the definition of what that was, listen to this. No, I'll give you Smyrna had been destroyed. This city had been destroyed. This city, Smyrna, no longer existed because of the enemy. Let me say this to us the enemy wants to destroy us. Yes, he does. Because that's just, we are the church. This building is a place of worship. But we are literally the church. When God, when Christ comes back, he is not coming back for the building. He's coming back for us because we are the church. And the Bible says, as a matter of fact, not one of these stones, uh, stones bricks, or whatever, will be left standing upon each other. He's coming back for us. The church. This church was destroyed. Didn't even exist. This is the Greek city. Did not exist. It was totally destroyed for several centuries. Not for like you know, it was destroyed like eastern part and, and the western part of Kentucky destroyed, and you know, you fix it back in, in a couple years. This was centuries. This church was destroyed for centuries. Centuries. But then it was restored. All right. So I said restoration. Because when that devil tries to destroy, destroy, destroy you, God will bring about restoration. Yes, he will. Yes. Well, somebody sung a song, restoration is not only come. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yes. It has been, I've been going through this thing for since, for some time, but, but restoration has finally come. Yes. Thank God for restoration. Yes. Thank God for being restored. Yes. Thank God for being back with God. Yes. If 
you remain in me, you will have deliverance. Yes. And you will have victory. Yes. <laughs> he, he reminds the church of Smyrna that you will have victory. Mm -hmm. Not just stay in me. Stay in me. Now, verse number two. This is one of the next explanations. First, the eight portion of verse number nine says, I know your works. You see that in the first church. I know your works. If you remember, Jesus encouraged the church to keep on their works. However, they lost their love for him. Amen. And so Jesus, and I started saying to y'all, that, that Deuteronomy says God is a jealous God. Yes. He tells us in Deuteronomy and Matthew to serve with all our heart, mind, and soul. Mm -hmm. If we love him. And what happens, and let me tell y'all something, the church at, at, at Ephesus was a loveless church. That was a loveless church. When, when I speak in terms of loveless, if their love was less for God, uh -huh. more love for works. Mm -hmm. And God has telling them, then told them, you can keep me your works. Yes. But you're going to love me before you, above your works. And they lost their love for Christ. Mm -hmm. God does not say stop working. Amen. Amen. I think you can clear. He does not say stop working. There you go. He goes in verse number nine, and I know your works. I recognize your works. I recognize your deeds. Yes. And then he explains in the vision of John, he explains the church this, this. He says, I know your works. Mm -hmm. Tribulations. I, I see what you're going through. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Do you not know sometimes we think God don't see us going through what we're going That's through? Right. That's right. And, and literally, human nature keeps in. Yes, Come on, y'all. Yes, we ain't spiritual 24 yes. Amen. We can't take it anywhere. Amen. And so our flesh rises up. Yes, it does. And we think God has left us. We think God has forsaken us. We think God has abandoned us. But God says, I see what's going on with you. I recognize your tribulation. Mm. And not only your children, but I recognize your poverty. <laughs> Let me deal with poverty for just a minute. This word poverty means they, 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 was, they were back out in, in the low state. All right. Watch what, I, watch what I'm going. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yep. He says, I see your poverty. I see your lack of income. Mm -hmm. I see your lack of, of, of economical means. Mm -hmm. I see that. But, mm. but, mm. here's what he says. Mm -hmm. And it's the parenthesis. If you got a new King James, it's the parenthesis. He says, but, you are rich. Yes. I'm going to encourage somebody right now. Yes. You are rich in the spirit. Yes. Amen. That's, it. That's what he's saying of the church. Amen. He said, You are rich. You may be you in, in the natural, you may be poor, Amen. you may be poverty stricken, but in the spirit, Amen. you are rich. Amen. I have called you in the spirit to be rich. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And don't rip, don't, don't, don't rely on, rely on your poverty in the natural, but Yes. 
Don't be alarmed. Don't be uh, frightened. I'm telling you right now, be aware. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you awareness and alertness mm -hmm. of what going on. I know mm -hmm. your tribulation. I know your body. Mm -hmm. Then you go on. Well, listen to what God what is this? With special tenderness, I love God. All right. I love these yes. special tenderness. Yes. The Lord tells his suffering, suffering saints that he knows their tribulation thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Not partially, thoroughly. Mm -hmm. He knows their tribulation thoroughly. Mm. Mm -hmm. To outward appearance, they might be poverty stricken. But they, as far as spiritual, they are considered rich. <laughs> they are also persecuted yes, yes. by Christ rejecting Jews mm -hmm. who claim to worship who claim to worship God, mm -hmm. <laughs> but who really were under the control of Satan, yes. under the control of Satan. Yes. Like the Jews who sought to kill Jesus, they were of the fa their father, the devil. Mm -hmm. They were actually dishonoring God by their this this treatment of believers. Mm -hmm. They were literally dishonoring God by their treatment of believers mm -hmm. or the saints. Now, Raymond, go to the next slide. There's a man in verse number nine called Polycarp. And the question was, who is Polycarp? Polycarp was the pastor at Smyrna. He was taught by the apostles. He was also taught by the apostle John. He kept the teachings of the apostles. He did not change while he was under persecution, he did not change yes. his teaching. All right. He stayed with what he was taught, which was biblical teachings and biblical principles. He stayed with that. And he was ridiculed and he was um, messed with by the Roman Empire, emperors. Mm -hmm. Because he stayed, watch this, he stayed the word. All right. Watch this. He was, he lived A.D. 69 to A.D. 156. And launched this, and then my next question was, what happened to him? What happened to him? He stayed with God. He stayed with the Bible. And he was burned at the stake. He, listen, he loved God so much, he would not denounce God. He loved him so much. If you burn me, burn me. And first of all, before they burned him, they tried to kill him some other way. That didn't work. And so they burned him at the stake. Mm. He was marred. He was marred. By the Roman emperors. One of them was Constantine. One of the emperors. He was killed, but he did not denounce God. He stayed with God, regardless of what, because his reward, oh my. His reward was better than his being marred by all being burned. I'll say you like that in one He would not, he refused to denounce Christ. He would not denounce Christ. Raymond, go to uh, uh, the scripture, Luke 12 and 21. And we go to the scripture to verse number 9. This is it. So he is who lays up treasures for himself. Get that? He is who he lays up treasures for himself. He is not rich for God. That's a 
so what the scriptures are verse 9. Really, they are out for themselves. And since they are out for themselves, they are not rich toward God. Amen. All right. Because they're more so, and we're in that dispensation right now. And I don't know if it's you, but it's all right. I ain't sure. A lot of preachers mm -hmm. are out for notoriety and money and all that stuff, but they're poor in Christ. Right. But this person tells you, like, if you do it for yourself, you are in poverty and you're not rich toward God. All right. Go to the next one, please. Romans 2 and 12, 2 and 17. Indeed, this is dealing with Jews. Indeed, you are called Jews. You rest on the law. You rely on the law. And make yourself boast in God. What did he really say here in this verse? He said, you see, you're doing all the most. You're going through the motion. That's it. But you, you're really, your heart is not with God. Amen. You literally are going through the motion, but you're really not with God. Right. Now you have renounced God mm -hmm. by how you live. Yeah. You have renounced God by how you act. Go to the next one. Revelation 3 and 9. Indeed, I will make those who are, listen, listen, listen to this. I, indeed, I will make, or truly, or surely, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Indeed, truly, I will make them come and worship before your feet. Wait a minute. I'm going to look at what Jesus said. He says, I'm going to cause them who are the synagogue a Satan to come and follow your feet and worship and worship <laughs> before your feet. Oh my God. And I, and I know that I have been careful. Like a BPS when they care for somebody. He says, and, and to know that I have loved you, All right. I will cause your enemy to yeah. fall at your feet. Yeah. All right. You've been worried about him all this time, but God, Jesus said, I'm going to cause him to fall at your feet. All right. And I will love you. Yeah. You're going to love you, but I'm so sure telling you, I love you. Right. And I'm going to cause your enemy yeah. to fall at your feet. And worship at your feet. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. Woo, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, the special tennis for the saints. Yes. For the saints. Watch this verse 10. I'm coming out of the bit out of the way. This is what 10 says. Do not fear. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid of those things yeah. which are of God. Mm -hmm. You're about to suffer. Mm -hmm. He gives them hope. Don't be afraid of the coming, coming sufferings. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Can I just do this? God said, I got this. Mm -hmm. Good. All you got to do is be patient. Yes, sir. I got this. I got this. This is what he says in verse 10. Indeed, truly, surely, <laughs> the devil is about to throw some of you into prison. Don't be alone about that. That you may be tested, tried. You will have tribulation 10 days. 10 days. 10 days. There will be some rough tribulation. Those 10 days. Truck, truck, afflictions. 10 days. Watch this. But I'll give you a crown of life. Mm -hmm. I won't give that in a minute. The afflictions and persecution the believers in Smyrna suffer cause them to fear. They were scared. They were literally scared. Because every time they were working for the Lord, the devil popped up his head. And cause them to be fearful mm -hmm. to even go further forward or further in God. Mm -hmm. Watch this. 
The implication here, the lack at that fact, they were growing more fearful and apprehensive. I want to tell somebody something of the future. They were afraid of the future. God got you. Yes, Don't be afraid. Don't be apprehensive. You just keep working and keep loving God. Amen. Number one, keep loving God Amen. and keep working for God. Yeah. Don't you be afraid because great is he that's in you. Yes. First John 4 and 4. Great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You got Christ in you. Amen. Romans 8, talk to me, God. 8 31. If God yes. be for you, y'all hear me? Yes. If God be for you, okay, let me do the pretty short of the word. Mix it up. Since God yes. is for you, who can be against you? Tortured, 
and kill in many ways. A million will kill. I will be killed. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. The gospel still went forth. Yes. 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 The gospel still went forth. Yes. The believers were encouraged to be faithful unto death. They would receive a crown of life. Can I just say this? A special reward Amen. for them being martyred. Amen. Special reward. This ain't just a little, 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 little routine reward. Amen. This right here is a supernatural reward. Mm -hmm. It cannot be compared in the natural. Mm -hmm. And so when he's telling the church, you go through this, when you will receive a reward. Now, a special reward. Yes. And he said, and then he said, keep in mind. Yes. Keep in your mind that yes. you're going to be rewarded. You're going to receive a crown of life. Yes. A special crown. Just keep on keeping on. Keep on holding on yes. to God and to your head. And you will receive a crown of life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Your labor is not in vain. Woo, it's my labor in vain. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come y'all. No, my labor is not in vain. Come, come on, you're talking to me. Cause not. I like that. Cause not. Amen. Every day you talk to yourself. Amen. Every now and then you got to carry yourself. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. First Samuel, chapter 30, verse 6. David, the Bible says David had to carry himself. Yes, sir. He has treated himself in the Lord. If don't know how to encourage you, you better encourage yourself. You better learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. Pat yourself on the back. Come on, girl. Come on, man. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Get, get up. Shake yourself. Get up. Encourage yourself. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Woo, Jesus. Verse number nine. And I'm done. I like this point to you. Before I get the verse to that, this church of Smyrna was a suffering church, was a persecuted church, but this church remained faithful God. Mm -hmm. The pastor, Polycarp, stayed faithful to God. All right. Even though he was burned at the stake, he remained faithful because mm -hmm. he would receive that crown of life. What this, what this church tells us before we live, tells us that we're going to suffer. Mm -hmm. It's nothing new we're going to go through. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that we need to hang on in there, remain faithful. He says here, be faithful unto death. death. Yeah. Be faithful to the end. This church was faithful. I just told you moments ago that this church was destroyed. But God restored the church. Brought the church back. The whole, the whole city was destroyed. Can you just imagine the whole city of Lexington being destroyed? The whole city was destroyed, but God, for centuries, destroyed. But God brought this and restored this church. But it still had suffering. We have suffering, y'all. Amen. Amen. It's a part of it. Yes, it is. Suffering. Mm -hmm. Suffering. Watch as he closes this church, which he will close with all the others. He closes the first church. He closes the same way with church number two. This is what church number two says. He says to church number two, brother, he who has ears, or ear, has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit, or the Holy Spirit, says to the churches. Not the church, the churches. He who come, overcomes, shall, listen to this, Shall not be hurt by the second death. Let's do the second death for a moment. Then we'll close. And I need you to slide for that too, please. Thank you. Again, the willing hearers, the willing, hear the word, be willing. The willing hearers is encouraged to listen to the Spirit's voice. I want to say it again. Again, the willing hero yes. is encouraged mm -hmm. to listen yes. to the voice of 
the Spirit. Let me say, don't listen to the Spirit. Listen to what the Spirit says. The overcoming is promised. This is is promised exemption from the second day. The implication is also if they were, if they did not remain, this is if they did not remain faithful. This is if they did not remain faithful. The results is the second death. What is the second death? I'm going to tell you It's the lake of fire. The second death is the lake of fire. Wow. Everlasting fire. I'm just trying to preach a little bit for a second. Everlasting fire. You cannot put the fire out. There's no water to put it out. This is an everlasting fire. That's the second death. Uh, there is no hope of anything else if one does not stay true to Christ. He would say, stay true to Christ. Mm -hmm. mm. Ready to rain us up. Let me do this first. Matthew 40, 25 to 41 says this. Jesus pointed out that the everlasting fire, the lake of fire, the lake of fire, the lake of fire was prepared. This is was prepared. Was prepared. I'm going to way. The lake of fire was not prepared for people. I'm telling you, the lake of fire was not prepared for people. But it was prepared for the devil and his angels. Hmm. But those who refuse, rebel, or turn away in unbelief will share in Satan's doom. Will share in Satan's doom. The lake of fire. Hell was not prepared for people. It was prepared for Satan's angels. He got kicked out. When he rebelled against God, he got kicked out. Hell and the lake of fire was only for him and his angels. Not for the people. But because the people rebellious and uh, refused to receive Christ and do their own thing, they are going to join in the lake of fire. Okay, let's go. Be Revelation 13 and 9. If anyone has an ear, simple, let him hear. And Jesus speaking to him. He said, Wait. He said, What he's doing? He said, I'm, I'm, I'm urging the saints who has an ear to hear, to listen. Because it's for your benefit. It's for your probability in the spirit realm to hear what the spirit is saying. Okay, go to the next one. 20 and 14. Then death and Hades or hell were, were cast into the lake of fire. Yes, this. Then death. Then death and hell or Hades were cast into the lake of fire. <laughs> and this is the second death. But can I tell you something? If you're dead, you don't feel fire, is that right? You ain't gonna die. Listen to me, I want to make this clear. This second death, this lake of fire, this right here, fire, it's not going to go out. Put it for it. It's not going out. Amen. And it's going to burn forever and ever. And the person who go to hell are going to burn forever and ever. And they're going to feel the pain. Mm -hmm. I just just back to that. Fire. You go in there and you burn forever and ever. There is no end. You go, you just it's so kind of hot today, like in the 90s. That that heat ain't no, is no person. So what this fire is like. Amen. You can go home, cut the AC on, cool yourself down. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. But here, yeah, right. right here, mm -hmm. you can't cool yourself home. Amen. There is no 
come every day. The whole country said, and there is no ice tea. Amen. It's true. I want to make this picture, but I, I want to let you see what God, she said this morning. Jesus is one of the people given time to get it right, right now. Because when he comes quickly, comes suddenly, without any warning, it's instantaneous. We have no time to get it right. That's why he said, come, I come quickly. Amen. He says, my reward is with me. Mm -hmm. This right here, fight, mm -hmm. he ain't playing. Amen. But right now, he's giving us warning. Yes, he he's giving the church and those who don't, are unbelievers mm -hmm. a chance to get it right so they don't have to dwell in the lake of fire Amen. and burn forever and ever. It's our opportunity. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. He's done. I am too. Yes. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This is our prayer. The person who says, next week we'll talk about purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the point we get in church there too. I think purpose is the common man in church.
Lord God, we thank you for blessing Elder Morgan. Can you touch his body? To the body and hand of healing. We declare the decree healing and the health be upon his body as well, God. Touch him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet, God. Oh God, touch and bless in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray, God, we thank you for Sister Gwen Barnes being here. Continue to strengthen and touch our body with your mighty hand of healing, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for blessing Sister Barnes, Sister Jazz, for the baby one being here this morning. Uh, continue to bless them, God. Continue to strengthen them, God. Continue to touch them with your mighty hand as well, God. In Jesus' name we pray. And God, we pray, God, we bless uh, uh, Jenny Turner, God. And family, God, touch them and bless them in a mighty and abundant way, God. You know what to say to you, God. Meet that need, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God. I pray, God, you continue to bless uh, uh, Sister Diane and family, God. Touch them and bless them, God, in a mighty and abundant way, God. We thank God for also blessing Sister Joe Peter Jackson here this morning uh, from heaven. I think that you have brought her here today and thank you for the eyes of being successful, God. Thank you, God. Continue to bless her, God, in a mighty and abundant way. God, I pray that you bless Carrie, uh, 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 Sarah. Bless her, bless the strength of her, God. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Touch God. You know what she's standing here, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God. I pray you best bless Kathy and her daughter, God. Touch Kathy and her daughter, God. With your mighty hand, God. Bless the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. God, I pray you bless the Robson family. Bless the Neil family, God. God bless and touch them with your mighty awesome hand, God. In the name of Jesus, move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power, God. Oh, God, I pray, God, you just bless, God. Bereave families everywhere, God. Bless uh, those that give them comfort, God. Give them strength, God. You reach what no can reach and you touch what no can touch. God, you do as only you can do, God. Oh, God, I pray that you just bless. Uh, our fishes of the world, God, touch their hearts, their minds, number one, to be saved. Have a desire to be saved, God, and guide them and direct them in their decision, God. Make the right decision for people in the country, God. Bring peace in the world, God. Oh, God, I pray you bless, God, the men and women in the armed force, protect them, and shield them from danger, sin, and unseen, God. Bless them in a mighty abundant way, God. I pray, God, that you just bless. Oh, God, continue to bless our Bishop, Mr. Jones. We thank you for joining for him. And Sister Jones, thank you, God. Continue to touch their bodies with your mighty hand, God. In the name of Jesus. These blessings we ask in Jesus' mighty and awesome name we pray. And we will thank you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This is our prayer. As you keep these, these persons in prayer, keep them in prayer. Continue to pray for them. The Lord continue to bless and abide in abundance. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, may you have a great marvelous terrific for the remainder of the day, and the Lord bless me. Bless the Lord. And after him, there is a way to keep you from falling, present you from us for the presence of the only wise God, our Savior. Be glory, mass, and dominion, power, both for now and for now. Oh, God, have bless your people, and have a great week. Have a blessed week, God. Bless in your mighty and abundant way. These blessings we ask in Jesus' awesome mighty name we pray. And we thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.